Your first trip to Auburn, man? Yes, it will be. You looking forward to it? I'm, I'm so excited for it. Yeah. So what do you think it's going to be like? Can you compare it to anything you've done already? Um, I'd say just playing in Sanford every, uh, for our home games. I mean, that's a crazy environment. Uh, some, probably similar to Neyland. Um, yeah. That was something else, so something like that. George Pickens is a guy, he's real demonstrative during the game and stuff like that. Is he the same way at practice? Is he, you know, making making catches and getting up and celebrating all that kind of stuff? Yeah, he is. He he brings that energy, that fire every day. Um, so, yeah, he's always doing that. Was there a moment maybe in, in fall camp, summer, where, where he makes a catch and gets up and celebrates you? Like, wait, that's a, that's, that's a lot of confidence for a freshman to come in here and, and play with. I guess during summer seven on seven is when we started to see it and then it just continued on. There was no like drop off. So we, we saw him just make a one handed snag that nobody really would really attempt to make with the one hand or whatever. Mm -hmm. And from there, we're just like, wow, this kid's something. This kid's how, special. How do you think that's helped him? I mean, obviously, he's a freshman. He's coming into a team that's got national championship, SEC championship aspirations. Like, how has that helped him kind of throughout the year, do you think? I think with him knowing that all of us have his back, um, we want him to be on the field. We want him to be catching those balls, and we trust him. And that's given him that confidence that he brings to every game. And kind of from a different, like, does he have a, a go-to celebration that he goes to? Do you notice or practice? Does he have? A, is, is there a signature Pickens? I feel like he he he'll drop the ball and start walking away, like pacing away really fast, and just like looking looking around at everyone, like making sure everyone saw that. Like, did you see my play? Yeah, we saw. Does, does he kind of trot out new moves in practice for the game, or kind of how does that work? I don't think so. I mean, you'll hear coaches yelling, George, get back, get back, stuff like that. So. John, I know I asked you already before everyone was over here, but I mean, um, what are you all expecting going? What are you expecting going on Saturday at Jordan Hare? You know, you have a little loud stadium. Um, has your teammates told you any uh, stories from the 2017 game? They haven't told me any stories. They just told me to expect a loud environment. Uh, similar to playing here, uh, similar to playing in Neyland against Tennessee. It's going to be a loud environment, hostile environment, and we just got to lock in and focus on our calls. You got any friends on there, over too? Um, I met Jake's brother before, the other tight end. Oh, yeah. But um, besides that, I, I don't think so. No. We're recruiting, maybe. Yeah. But, yeah. This is your first uh, chance to go kind of through a run like this. Obviously, you're on the team last year, but being a part of it. Um, What's it feel like, you know, with it going into a game like there's so much on the line. I mean, it's just, you know, college football playoffs, SEC East, mm -hmm. SEC Championship. Um, do you have to keep that compartmentalized? Do you, do you have to wait to time your ultimate hype, you know, for the game? Yeah, like you said, keep it, um, keep it the SEC Championship, National Championship aspirations. Keep it right here. That's what we want to do. But the next game's at Auburn, and that's the only thing we have to focus on right now. What are some of the inherent, uh, for you guys specifically, tight ends, offense, uh, what are some of the inherent challenges with Auburn that you got to handle Saturday? They're big up front. They're really big up front, and that's going to be a fun challenge ahead of us. Uh, they've got good D-line, and uh, we're going to have a big test. Going back to George, I know he had that catch in the summer, maybe the beginning of fall, that kind of went viral on Twitter and stuff. What was, what do you remember about the reactions in the locker room the days following that? Was y'all kind of teasing him about being an internet sensation, or kind of what, what do you remember about that? Uh, I think probably talking to him, I just was not surprised because I had seen it so many times before. Uh, he acts like it's nothing, and to him it's nothing because he makes those plays all the time. Do you 